Coverage continues now as the Fairview fire does continue to grow. Two people were killed in this fire shortly after it started Monday and one person was critically injured. Firefighters say there was no time to waste when evacuations first started. News Channel 3's Tatum Larson was in Hemet today talking with some people who have been out of their homes now for two days. Eric Dudley evacuated due to the Fairview fire. He is currently staying at Talkwitz High School that has been turned into an evacuation center by the Red Cross. Dudley said that he and his family only had one hour to escape the fire that was barreling towards their home before losing everything. Pretty much what only we can carry, we, could, we, had to take, we can take. A Red Cross representative told me that over 30 people came in to seek shelter from the fire. Riverside County Fire says some have chosen to shelter in place, but they recommend that people evacuate when asked. The Red Cross is providing food, shelter, and resources for evacuees like Dudley, who is still waiting for the full damage report. I don't have a home no more. I have to figure out what, where I'm going to go, what I'm going to do, how am I going to find shelter, uh, a long-term shelter, you know. So, like, that's kind of what's on the agenda right now, you know, something steady so I can go back to you, so I can start my life over again. Hemet locals have banded together to provide support to those in need. Frank Montoya and his co-workers who work at the nearby Lowe's said helping your community in times of need is just what you should do. Knowing the circumstances of what we're faced with here in, the, in our local community, it's just a way of giving back with water. People have shown up at the evacuation center for emotional support too. Brent Perez, a teacher at a nearby school, showed up to Talkwitz High School to check in on students who lost their homes in the fire. So I wanted to stop by and just see if I, you know, see any kids here. I wanted to say hello and, you know, be a familiar face and, and really just try to comfort them, man, in these trying times. Takwitz High School, in addition to other schools within the Hemet School District, will remain closed today and will continue to update families as firefighters continue to try to get the growing blaze under control. In Hemet, Tatum Larson, News Channel 3.